One of the nice things about Clipper is the built-in ability to use a mobile phone or other web client to control the printer when you're not standing in front of it, whether you're in another room or out in the world somewhere connected to your house with a VPN. But one of the things that I've found is that while the mobile view may be mobile friendly, I wouldn't really call it mobile optimized. I run mainsail on my printer and even though I know I can go in and customize this view for mobile, it's not really laid out well for intuitive control. So in this video, I'm going to show you an application called Mobile Raker that you can use to control your Clipper printer with your mobile phone. This is the Mobile Raker interface and let's take a look at the menus first. At the top, we can see my printer's name and IP address. And if we hit the cog, we can set a number of options for the printer. Mobile Raker does support multiple printers, so if we click the drop down next to Manage Printers, that would show us all of the printers that we have added to the system, which makes it really convenient to switch between printers with the same application. Then we have the dashboard, which we'll get to in a moment, console, which is your standard console output, files will show you any G code files that are loaded into the printer that you're connected to. Then we have the settings for the Mobile Raker application itself. So taking a look at the dashboard, we can see that we're in standby. We have our temperature controls, and this is where you can see the benefit of having a dedicated mobile application versus just a simple web view. Here under temperature, we have the extruder and the bed. If I hit set, I can bring up a dialog to change the temperature. We can either have a slider or go into a number pad. And if we scroll across, we can see the other temperature sensors that I have for my chamber and for my CAN board. Then we have the webcam section. My printer does have two cameras, so I can switch between overhead and my bed view. One of the advantages of Mobile Raker over just the web view from your normal Clipper interface is that we can put this into a full screen mode and if I turn my phone to the side, I now have a full screen image that I can zoom in and zoom out. So it makes it much easier if you really want to zoom and see whether or not there is an issue with part of your print. We can move the print head around and if I was printing, we would have uh, Z offset adjustments here. We can also switch to the next screen where we can set up G-code macro buttons. I currently just have one to turn the lights on and off uh, loaded into my chamber preset, but you can also call up the default, which lists everything or create other presets depending on what your needs are. And we can control the extruder and much like the temperature, we have a scrollable area for all of the fans. So if I wanted to turn, for example, my part fan on, I can hit that and just slide and confirm. And now my part fan is running. I have my case lights wired through an output pin. Uh, it's actually one of the unused heater outputs. So I can toggle that there. And we have our multipliers and machine limits that you just have to unlock with a tap so that you don't accidentally hit them as you're making adjustments. One of the other main features of Mobile Raker is the companion add-on. This is a bit of code that you install on your Clipper host that you can download from the author's GitHub repo. Once you've installed the companion add-on into your Clipper host, you can receive push notifications from your printers on your mobile phone. This is a cross-platform feature that does not cost any money, there's no subscription, you can get a number of different notifications. For example, you can be sent progress notifications at several different increments, or you can turn those off. There are also state notification changes for standby, printing, paused, complete, and error. A new feature that's in beta testing right now is the ability to send custom notifications with a specially formatted M117 G code command. So if we take a look at my print start config, here I have this M117 command with a special flag, dollar sign, MR dollar sign, which 
tells Mobile Raker to send a notification. Then I have a variable that calls the file name, then pipe and preheating. So what this will do is send a push notification to my phone that starts with the title of the file that I'm printing and then the message underneath. So I have the, these messages sent at various points during my pre-print routine so that I know where the printer is in getting ready to print a file. Or another example is you can send customized notification if your filament sensor is triggered. So that's a quick overview of Mobile Raker. It's a great way to manage your printers using your mobile phone. The companion software is available now. The version with custom notifications is in beta testing, but it's an open beta. So if you would like to try that, just get in touch with the author, Patrick. The greatest thing about all of this, aside from the fact that it works really well, is it is absolutely free. Although the author does appreciate donations to help with the development costs like Apple's licensing for developers, and it's just nice to support the community. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, and we will be bringing you more content soon.